Today on Horseland, heroes come from unexpected places when Sarah's visually impaired cousin comes to the rescue. In a few minutes, it's going to be getting dark. How do we know which way to go? They're never going to find their way home. I think I can get us out of this. Welcome to Horseland. If you're like everyone here, you must love horses. Horses? Please! If you have any sense, you love cats. Namely, me. Huh? Maybe they like pigs. Oh! Not if they have eyes. Or noses. You're making a big assumption here, Angora. Fact. Pigs are quite hygienic, and they are just as smart or smarter than horses, dogs, and cats. Bite your tongue. Oh, Angora, we know you're actually really sweet on the inside. Just a sweet, cuddly cat. Nice riding, Sarah. And Scarlet. She's the fastest horse around, and I love her for it. Ugh, I hate losing. Is Aztec looking a little under the weather to you? Está loco, Bailey. You're crazy. Aztec didn't lose that race. You did. Yeah, you can't blame Aztec for losing, Bailey. Heck, you zigged when you should have zagged and made Aztec run about 20 feet farther than he had to. Why, uh... Uh, a librarian could have done better. What you doing with that book, Alma? I happen to be looking up information on optimum diets for racehorses. Besides, don't judge a book by its cover. I always judge books by their cover. The less pages they cover, the more I like them. See you back at Horseland. Here it is. Omega-3 and 6 fatty acids are essential for high-performance horses. Sorry if I dusted you guys on the way back. Oh, please. Who wouldn't win with the head start you had? <laughs> She's got a point, Will. Sarah? Is that you? It's Mary! Sarah? Of course it's Sarah. What, are you blind or something? Actually, yes. I am blind. Let me guess. You can see, but you're not very observant. Sorry, but if you'd keep your cane out in the open, people wouldn't make the mistake of thinking you're, well... Like them. Of course. We wouldn't want that now, would we? No, we wouldn't. You could get hurt with all the horses running around. See you later. Oops. Well, at least we'll see you. Good one, Zoe. Sorry about that, Mary. <laughs> oh, well. What those two lack in awareness, they make up for in humor. You're not offended? How could I be? They're obviously not living in the same world as the rest of us. You can say that again. Hey, who's this? Meet the one, the only, Cousin Mary! That would be me. I'm so glad you came. Mary, let me introduce you to my very best friends in the whole world. Looks like you're in for a long, slow week. What are you talking about? You're always the one who takes new kids around. How fast can she go if she can't see where she's going? First of all, I'll be honored to have Sarah's cousin ride with me at whatever pace she wants to go. And second, I can see where I'm going. And third, I'll still be going out on rides with Sarah, so who cares? We'll see. Hey, Sarah! You have to come sign for this horse! A horse? Sarah signing for a horse? Uh-oh. Aw, cuz. You shouldn't have gotten a horse for me. <laughs> I didn't. I'll be right back. Well, if it's not for Mary... I'll get your new horse out while you do the paperwork. My new horse? Thanks. 
here he is. Oh my, he is absolutely perfect. Perfect? I thought I was perfect. Let's go meet this perfect horse. Allow me, er, us, to help you. It's really not necessary. Prince, meet Sarah, your new owner? No, he's not really mine. I'm just training him. I sure picked a good day to show up. If you happen to be stuck with a new horse who needs a rider, I'd love to volunteer. Sorry, Mary. He doesn't need a rider. He needs a trainer. And I've been asked to train him. It's very important. But while you're here, you can treat Scarlet like she's your very own. My very own? Sorry, Scarlet. You can handle Scarlet by herself, right? Well, absolutely. Especially since I'll be right next to her the whole time. I'll be right on her other side. And, uh, I'll look for potholes on the ground. Really, guys, I'm okay by myself. Nah, we're happy to help. Okay, Mary, you take Scarlet inside. Rub her down, get her fed, check her water, and hang up all her gear. Is that all? Uh, no. Clean up any manure in the stall while you're at it. Aye, aye, Captain. See you later. Prince and I need to get started. Sarah just gave you away? It's just for a few days, remember? She's training that... that other horse for someone else. I hope you're right. Come on, Scarlet. I need to get you curried and fed. Okay, team. Which way to her stall? This way! Mary seems like she can handle anything that comes her way. I'm more intrigued by Scarlet's reaction to Prince. I think our lovely Arabian is jealous and maybe a little afraid. If Sarah keeps this horse, what would happen to Scarlet? That, my little piggy, is precisely what I'm talking about. What would happen to Scarlet? <sighs> Honestly, guys, I'm sure it's fascinating watching me endure the manure, but I can take care of Scarlet all by myself. You never know. There could be a rake buried in the straw. Or a snake. I just want to help. Hey, as long as you're asking, here, can you take this? Uh, sure. <gasps> Owie! Don't tell me. Yep. He stepped on a rake buried in the straw. Girls, you should never leave tools lying around where they could cause an accident. Come on, Bailey. Let's get you out of here before you get bitten by that snake you mentioned. Then I can get back to taking care of Scarlet's stall. Right. The stables can be a dangerous place. Hey, anyone have a curry comb so I can groom my horse? You hear that? Mary said, my horse. Just for a few days. This is a setup. Sarah found a new horse and she's giving you to her cousin. That's crazy. Am I imagining things? What do you think, Button? I don't know. Scarlet, has Sarah said anything that makes you worry? No. Except... What? what? I don't think it's anything. But today, when I won the race, Sarah said she loved me because I was the fastest horse in Horseland. So? Button, wake up and smell the hayseeds. What if there were a faster horse around? And what if that horse happened to be Prince? No way! It's not true! Sarah would never give me away. Sarah and Prince are flying! Mary, you gotta see this! Oops, sorry. I didn't mean you have to literally see. I'm sure you can probably hear them so clearly that you can tell just what they're doing. See, I read that when you lose one sense, your others become like superhuman. <laughs> Bailey, Alma, chill. I don't have any special extrasensory superhuman superpowers, but I'm not some defenseless baby either. Just think of me as normal, okay? Okay, I get what you're saying. From now on, you just let me know if you need any help. Me too. Me three. Great. Then I'm going to go groom Scarlet by myself. Hmm. I'm not facing in the right direction, am I? Uh, no. Oops. <laughs> that really takes the drama out of my exit. I hope this isn't your last day at Horseland. Just stop it! You're getting me so mad, I just want to kick something. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, now I need help. What happened? Scarlet kicked the door open, knocked me over. Are you okay? Yeah, 
pretty much. Is your wrist broken? No, but I know what that feels like. I broke it a year ago. How? I fell off a horse. That's why my parents freak out about me riding. Okay, time out. You what? Bailey, I'll be fine. Help me up? Sure, but for the rest of the time, where you go, I go. Me too. Me three. Oh boy, here we go again. All four of us. Hi, girls. Mary, I've got to get to work with Prince right away, so you'll have to saddle Scarlet yourself if you want to ride today. If I want to ride today? Of course I want to ride today. I want to ride every day. It may take a while, but I'll be out there. It won't take long at all. Even if you don't want to help your cousin, we will. She's not a baby. She can do it herself. Sarah's right. I appreciate the help, but I can do it myself. You don't have to bother. It's no bother at all. Besides, you don't want to hurt your wrist again. <sighs> okay, let's get Scarlet ready. Whoa, Prince! Good boy! Hey, Sarah. Hey, guys! Why don't you get Scarlet going faster for Mary? Now we're talking. How's about we go for a gallop? <laughs> right now, you just need to get used to being in the saddle. I've ridden before, remember? Go for a hole! Whoa, boy! Easy, Scarlet! All right, all right. Just a go for a hole. But so much for making sure Mary stays safe. Hey, Cousin Bailey? Can we do it again? No, but I have to admit, you really stuck to your saddle. You may be ready to add a little speed. Great! Scarlet, we're finally going to get to... Trot. <sighs> Better than walking. Mary, why do you want to ride so much? I've always loved horses. It's a part of me. Everyone thinks I should be doing stuff more appropriate for someone like me, if you know what I mean. I can so relate. My friends in the city think I'm crazy taking the bus all the way out here. Just because they aren't interested in horses doesn't mean I shouldn't be. They don't know what it's like to ride with the wind in your face. Exactly. So how about we gallop a little? Okay, it's clear riding for about 100 yards straight ahead. Just stay next to me, and if I say whoa, stop right away. Got it. Yeah, let's go, girl. Mary, wait up. Woohoo! Time to slow down. Okay. Whoa there, Scarlet. Wow. You ride almost like you can, uh, like I can see. People forget riding is a partnership. As long as my horse can see. Hey, Mary. It's me, Chloe. Oh, Zoe. Look at that necklace. Is that a Zenyui? Oh, my gosh, it is. Uh, actually, it's not. Nonsense. I'd know a Zenyui anywhere. Not to be rude, but you, like, can't see. So how would you know, anyway? You two are absolutely... Wait, they're right. I can't see. So what would I know, really? Exactly. Hey, how about trading for something you can actually use? I've got a really cool MP3 player. Look, you two. Mary would rather keep her necklace. It's okay, if you really want to. Cool. cool. It holds 5,000 songs. Mary, are you sure? She's sure. Oh, yes, I'm sure. What a steal, a Zan Yui for an MP3 player. Oh, we're good. And pretty. And clever. Why did you do that? You just gave away your original Zanui. Zanui Zapui. I got three of those necklaces for five bucks at the swap meet. It's about as real as Chloe and Zoe are. <laughs> Girl, you are something. Hey, Molly. You should see the new trail my dad just opened. It winds all over. I've heard it ends up in a meadow we've never been to. Wow! Lead the way. I can ride on a trail, you know. Just let me follow along with you. I'll be fine. You promise not to run off? <laughs> yep, I'll be good. All right, but we'll just go up to the meadow and come right back. Yes! 
Hey, where are you going? Trail riding. Want to come? Can't. I've got more training to do. Listen, I don't think this is such a good idea. It's going to be getting dark soon, and there's a wind coming up, and... Oh, don't be such a worrywart. It's a full moon tonight. There'll be plenty of light, even if we do run a little late. But what if a storm comes in? Are you kidding? There wasn't anything about rain on the weather report. Come on, girls. Let's go before Sarah talks us out of here. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Barry's going on her first trail ride. Not such a good time for it, if you ask me. Feels like a storm might be coming. I tried to stop them. This is amazing! Oh, listen! Can you hear that? There's a beehive in a tree! What bees? Trust me, I can hear them buzzing. Now I can hear them. And I see them, too! Me, too! Good call, Mary. We go to the right. You said this new trail is tricky. Don't worry, I'm memorizing the landmarks. We'll be fine. Smell the strawberries. It's really faint. But it's there. It smells good. Like dessert. Oh, I hear a stream. Back in the woods over there. I do hear it. Now that you mention it. You know, I never realized how much I was missing before. It must be cool to be... <laughs> cool to be blind? Don't get carried away now. My life isn't exactly easy, but it is incredible. Okay, we're almost there. Take the right fork this time. Muy linda! Beautiful! What does it look like? Wide open trails with lots of pretty trees. Hey, check out the hawk! Uh-oh. Check out the clouds. Sure is getting dark fast. Yeah, we'd better get going. If we spent too much time here and those clouds don't break, there won't be a full moon and... Then, in a few minutes, it's going to be getting... Dark. Pitch dark. I can barely see my hand in front of my face. Don't worry. I always carry a flashlight in my saddlebag. Oh, great. The batteries went dead. Now we can worry. We are so lost. How do we know which way to go? I think I can get us out of this. How can you? You can't even see. Shh. Remember that stream I mentioned? Well, I can hear it coming from the left. You're right. I can hear it now. Cool. Mary, take the lead. Which way now? <laughs> we should be able to smell the strawberries soon. <laughs> see? Smells like fresas again. Coming from the right. Follow me. Which way? Shh. I don't hear or smell a thing. They're not as loud as they were in the daytime. But if you're really quiet, you can still hear them. Bees! Mary, you are a genius. We're almost home. It's so dark, they're never going to be able to find their way home. And it's going to rain soon. Don't worry, we'll find them. Wait, what's that? Hey, Sarah. Will! Whoa, how'd you find your way back? It's so dark. It was Mary. Mary let us out. Cousin, you are the best. I've got something to tell you. Let's go to the stable. Okay. I have an important announcement to make. Mary, these last few days, I left you alone on purpose. Your parents made me promise to keep everything a secret in case it didn't work out. They asked me to test you to see whether or not you could really take care of a horse on your own. Cleaning her, feeding her, riding her, the whole package. That's good to know. I thought I'd stop being your favorite cousin. Never. It certainly wasn't easy evaluating what you could do on your own. Especially with Bailey, Alma, and Molly trying to do everything for you. But you were amazing. And I think we all know that you passed the test what? with flying colors. So on behalf of your parents, I'd like to present you with your very own horse. What? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Are you giving me Scarlet? Are you kidding? I would never give away Scarlet. Prince is your new horse, Mary. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Prince will be great. I know it because you trained him. Scarlet, tomorrow we've got some riding to catch up on. 
Mary, I'm sorry it took us so long to realize that you didn't need special treatment. Thanks for putting up with us. See, you showed us that you really can judge a book by its cover, even if it's written in Braille. <laughs> <laughs> Mary certainly showed everyone what she could accomplish. She knew what she wanted, and she went after it. She didn't let anything stand in her way. Kind of like Teeny and her dinner. Dinner? Did someone say dinner? Mm. I'm hungry. That was a good story. Mary was a cool kid, and she ended up getting a new horse. But Scarlet was all sad and jealous. Exactly. That was my favorite part. And how about when Chloe and Zoe scammed themselves out of an MP3 player? Now that was classy. Say good night, Angora. Good night, Angora. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.